Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Babcock Davis number RH-KIT-Spring Pack. Interestingly enough, this RH-KIT Spring Pack doesn't contain any springs. This is only the lifting mechanism. Springs are purchased separately, but this is the mechanical hardware that will permit you to connect the lid to the sidewall and control it, or at least integrate into that system, a spring down in here. So I've got one, there is one here on my desk that is that does not have the fasteners basically attached to it. And let's take some dimensional properties. Overall width, we can see we're right at about four and a quarter with an overall height right at about nine and a half. The body itself, this would be about two and a quarter inch. Total projection to the outside of where it's going to connect basically, well, you know, it's obviously going to articulate, but we'll give you a dimension if you're trying to measure uh, and compare against something. About eight and three eighths. There's a video down below in the extended description from the manufacturer that shows the replacement procedure. Okay. Now let's put that aside. Let's take a look at the fasteners. First of all, you're going to have a plate that's going to get down right below and bolts are going to run through the plate into those inserted nuts. Two bolts so that it's going to look like that. And your spring's going to be captured inside of here. Okay, so that's how that's going to look. Then you're going to have a couple of um, at least three eighths hex cap screws with a couple of washer nuts. Those are for up here. We've already we already have them installed here and here, just attached. You're going to have a couple of carriage bolts and their nuts. That could be quarter inch. I'm just guessing. I'm pretty sure they're quarter inch. That's from the back of the sidewall. The curb is what they call it through the body here. Two of those. And the last thing you're going to have is a couple of tech screws. Those tech screws don't get attached, but they mount here and here. And those will then go to the sidewall of your unit. And that completes all of the part review of all this material. This client needed a couple of different springs uh, because of what they were doing. They needed a green and a blue spring, which translates to, um, I said, I know that I said green. I meant to say yellow. Bear with me. Yeah, I meant to say yellow. So what we have here is, <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm reading the paperwork. A yellow and a blue spring. The yellow spring is rated at 135 pounds. The blue spring is rated at 40 pounds. So they needed the, these two springs together to go with their two units so as to give themselves the proper sort of weight rating. And you get the concept. When you mount that plate down to the bottom, that's when you're going to get the action that you need on this. And that's how those work. Babcock Davis is a name synonymous with roof hatch uh, uh, roof hatches. They do an excellent job with replacement parts. They are very um, responsive when it comes to a question of, hey, <laughs> cut that out of the corner of my, corner of my eye. Uh, responsive when it comes to what part do I need. Um, if you've got a Babcock Davis unit and you need some replacement parts, a great place to start is literally with a photograph. Um, any sort of information on the sidewall, company label, especially a serial number, forward that to us and we're able to contact the factory and ask for guidance because there's just no reason to do any guesswork. And guesswork is actually quite counterproductive when it comes to a lifting mechanism and especially the springs because the rating of those springs is directly related to the size and the construction type, the material type and weight of the lid. And that all has to be put together correctly. It's really best to obtain that data than go back to the manufacturer uh, and ask for a review and uh, uh, statement as to what's needed. This is the steel version in a zinc plated finish. Okay, 
You can also get this in stainless steel. And you're going to see non-ferrous uh, base components when you're dealing with certainly uh, anything made of stainless, but also those aluminum units as well. Um, there are documents below this video. Cut sheet is listed there. Let's take a look at the cut sheet first. That is going to be a technical drawing of the replacement uh, lifting mechanism along with the other possible springs that are in different um, weight categories. Steel and the coated one, so if you're doing stainless you'd want to go with a coated spring. Okay, the cut sheet is handy. Product catalog is there because that will allow you to just review the Babcock Davis line of roof hatches. And that's handy because it gives you an idea of what hatches there could be. Um, but they make more than just roof hatches. They have access panels that are in there as well. Floor doors, roof hatches, smoke vents are all in the catalog. There's also an installation instruction link that talks about uh, exactly how to go about installing in an entire roof hatch. Also has a really nice list of parts uh, near the, or uh, I should say on the back page of that catalog. Excellent there as well. Uh, a couple of photographs are down below, an original unit, and then also, of course, a unit from the manufacturer, uh, uh, from their catalog, but also a customer supplied photo is there. Sometimes it's nice to see that material. Uh, from a real world environment. Okay. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Babcock Davis products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Babcock Davis RH <laughs> RHKIT dash spring pack replacement lifting mechanism made of zinc or any other Babcock Davis product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you very much.